Now that you have your component, the first thing you want to do is build out some tables. So let's click into our component and build our first table. So we're going to com underscore movies and then just click on new table to create a new table. So adding a new table is really simple. First of all, you want to give it a name. Uh, it starts it with the name of the component and then underscore. Again, just to follow that standard naming convention. You don't have to do that. I mean, I can delete movies there. But uh, I think it's really useful to follow that convention so that you don't overlap with other tables in the Joomla database. So I'm going to name this one just movies underscore movie uh, because that's, that's what we're storing in here is movies. So again, if I click out of this, you'll notice that it automatically fills in these fields over here uh, with information. So it automatically sets the plural display name as movies, uh, the plural internal name as movies with an underscore, and then singular is movie uh, and, and movie here as well. For the storage engine, again, this is something I usually I just leave it as the default. Uh, so if you don't if you don't know what you're doing, leave it as the default. Uh, if you've got a reason to change it to one of these other options, then do that. But again, I would just leave it as the default. Uh, the collation, again, I would generally just leave it at what it's at. Uh, but if you have a purpose or a reason to change it to something else, uh, certainly do that. Uh, but generally, I would, I would leave that alone. Uh, ACL to control each individual item. We'll talk about that a little later. I'm going to leave that alone for now. Uh, and then admin views and front end views. Again, we'll, we'll leave that alone. So I'm going to go ahead and create this table and we're ready to go there. Now let's go back to our list of tables and just see what else we can do here. You can clone an existing table. So just like you can, you can clone a component, you can clone tables. It's simple. You just go right by the table over here in the, these buttons. You just click clone. You can clone the table. Now, one of the really cool features here is that you can actually clone this table to another component. So if you've got a useful table from a component that you've built before uh, and you want to use it in this component, you just go to that other component, click clone by that table and then clone it to this component. So what I could do here is I could select my test component and clone this table to that component. So that's really useful. Uh, it saves you a lot of time in developing new components because you can borrow table structures from components that you've already built. Uh, you can also clone it to the current component, which is also really useful uh, if your component has multiple tables that have similar structures. So, uh, so I'll just do that. I'll, I'll do uh, I'll just clone it to the current component. And I'll call it uh, movies underscore call it director. So that's really easy. And you can also delete tables uh, just like you can delete components. Uh, in case you create an extra table that you might not need, you simply click the delete button to delete the table. So I don't need this movies, uh, this director table. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now, another really useful feature is that you can actually reorder tables. If you have multiple tables, you can sort them uh, and put them in different order. So that's that's really useful because that controls uh, the order in which their their views are displayed in the components menu uh, in your Joomla admin. So you you can reorder the tables if you have multiple tables, and it's just a drag and drop functionality. Uh, you can also select the views that are available for each table just right here from this screen. So you've got an admin list view, an admin form, a front end list view. So I just check that and makes that available. Uh, front end form uh, and then a front end detail pay, uh, view. And since we need all those, I'll just leave those checked. Now, in the subform tab, you can create subforms. Now, a subform is Joomla's new solution for creating repeatable fields. A repeatable field is a field that lets the end user enter multiple entries for some type of data. So, for our movie table, for example, let's create an awards subform. So, I'll click new subform. Uh, so this way, we can list multiple awards for each movie that, that has won multiple awards without having to create a separate awards cross-reference table. So this just stores the data within our movies table. So I'll just call my form, my subform name, awards, and I'll create that. I'll create my subform. And that's all there is to that for now. Now, for a subform, you've got to add fields to the form, which we'll do later to make it really useful. Now in the empty views tab, you can create empty views. Now empty views are just views that are not tied to a particular table. So the tables, when you create a table, it creates views 
tied to that specific table, but the empty views tab, you create views that are not tied to a particular table. So this offers a great way to create a shell that you can later build out with your own custom code. Uh, it just gives you a really good starting point where it creates the views and the models and the controllers for you. And then you can go again and you can go in there and, and flesh that out with your own code. So let's just go ahead and create an empty view here. We don't really need an empty view, so I'll just call this test. It automatically, again, you'll notice throughout Component Creator, it automatically fills some, fills some things in for you just to save you time. Uh, that's one of my favorite features. Uh, it's a really huge time saver. Uh, the internal name, plural, we'll just call it tests. And the internal name, singular, is tests. We do want admin views and we do want our front end views. So we'll just create that view. And that's that. And again, just like with tables, you can clone, you can delete, uh, and you can edit these empty views. So that's really useful. Now config parameters is the last tab. Uh, and this is a way for you to add custom configuration parameters to your component. Now these parameters give the site administrator a way to configure your component through Joomla's standard configuration interface. You'll need to add some custom code to your component after you build it in Component Creator in order to use these parameters. But this offers an easy way to define these parameters uh, so that you can use them later in your code. So it'll automatically create uh, the, the XML manifest file. It, it'll put these parameters in that file for you so that you don't have to do all of that. It's a really great time saver. So let's just add a parameter just to see. Uh, field name, we'll say, um, we'll call it show director. So if we want to display the movie's director or not. Uh, so field type for this, we'll make it a checkbox. Actually, let's make it a, let's make it radio buttons. For our label, now here's the problem here. So some of the things aren't perfect. Uh, it automatically put this little underscore in here for our label. We don't really need that. We want it to be uh, just like a regular text. Um, for our description, we'll just say select whether or not to display the movie's director. Class, this is a class for uh, the HTML field for displaying the parameter. This is useful, like if you want to turn it into like the, uh, the yes, no slider button kind of thing, uh, you could do that by adding that class here. Um, we'll just leave it alone just to make it like regular radio buttons. So radio button, so stored key, so one for yes, and add an item, zero for no, and the default will just set to one. We always wanted to want to show the director, but the user could select no for zero for not showing the director. So we'll add that parameter. And so now we have a config parameter for our component. So now that we have a config parameter, let's look at editing our component. Let's say we wanted to change some of the details about the component. So anywhere in the component screen, you've got this edit component button. So we'll go ahead and click that. And we can go back into our component and we can say, uh, you know what, I wanna make this uh, proprietary. Um, proprietary license for my customers only. There you go. See, uh, in the description, we can change that. You can select whether or not to display the director. There you go. So we'll save that, and we've edited our component details. Pretty simple. So now that we've edited our component, we've added a table, uh, we've looked at the empty views, we've looked at subforms, and we've looked at parameters, uh, we'll dive a little deeper into what you can do with tables.